Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Vivian, if you're new here. I'm so happy that you're here. Stick around for a little bit, why not? Anyways, the number one question that I get on my TikTok is, what is your skincare routine? So, now that I have a YouTube, I thought that I would take the time to sit down and just do an in-depth skincare routine video and just put it all in one video. I'm gonna show you guys the details on all the products that I use, all the devices that I use, along with the things that I may not do every day, but maybe two to three times a week, I'm still gonna give you guys the scoop on those. I'm also gonna show you guys my morning routine along with my nighttime routine and just put it all in one video, make it a one-stop shop, why not? Um, but yeah, I don't wanna make this intro too long, so let's get right into it. Okay, we are in my bathroom now, and starting with face wash, I use bar soap, okay? But don't, not just any bar soap, it's this. And the reason why I don't talk about this much on my page, on my TikTok, is because you can't get this in the US. Um, it is from a Korean skincare brand, and for some reason, their website doesn't work in the US, so it's basically impossible to get, and they don't sell it on Amazon, they don't sell it anywhere. Um, so I'm actually gonna reach out to the owner to see if there's any way we can make this available for you guys, because this changed my skin. I've been using it for three years, and the whole thing is that it's made from oriental herbs. I don't know what that means, but it works, <laughs> okay? And let me show you guys the packaging and get the actual details for you guys. I guess the brand is called Nissi. It says Oriental Herbs Facial Bar. And the trick to using this is you have to get this mesh pocket that I just ordered off of Amazon because you wet it and it becomes like super latherable. Also the whole concept of this face soap is that it's like a face soap mask. So you leave it on your skin for maybe a minute and then you wash it off. Now it's all foamy. And when I tell you this is an in-depth skincare routine, I'm gonna give you guys literally every single detail. So I just take it. They're a super small like mom and pop shop. Not many people know about them. And actually the guy who started this skincare brand was I believe like a scientist who was trying to cure his wife's um, eczema or psoriasis, one of the two, through uh, a holistic approach. He formulated this soap and he cured his wife, which is like so cute. This is the only face wash I use and I also travel with it too. Okay, I leave it on. <laughs> I look crazy. I leave it on for about like 45 seconds to a minute and then I'll wash it off. Never rub your face. Just pat it off very gently. Um, also tip, make sure that you're changing out your face towel at least once every three days. Um, because bacteria does build up on the towel and that could cause acne and stuff like that. So always make sure you're using a clean towel. All right, we are back in front of the window because the lighting's better over here. So the first thing that I put on my face after I wash it in the mornings, only in the mornings, I use this serum right here. It is the Superfood Skin Drip by Youth to the People. And I love Youth to the People. Um, I actually got this serum in PR and I have been loving it. It has kale plus peptide dandelion root, niacinamide, and postbiotic. And this has just been amazing for my skin. So I just do two pumps of that and I just rub it in my skin. Also, everything you put on your face, you should put on your neck because the neck is like, just like your face basically. And if you neglect your neck, then when you get older, it'll show. You know what I mean? All right, now it is time for moisturizer. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm obsessed with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I have talked about this so much on my page. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, <laughs> but I always have backups, okay? I've been using this for the past 11 years. I'm not even kidding. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but my face is so much more pale than my body because when I tan, I wear a lot of sunscreen on my face and on my neck, and I always cover my face with a hat. So, gotta protect the skin. Next step, arguably one of the most important steps in my skincare routine is sunscreen. And I wear sunscreen every single day. I change it up, um, but today I'm going to use the Round Lab sunscreen. If you guys are on like the skincare side of TikTok, I'm sure you guys have heard of this one. Or I'll, I like to use the Vacation Classic Whip. I love this one. This one gives a really good glow and makes a really great makeup primer, but I'm not going to be wearing makeup today, so I don't think I'm going to wear that one. And you guys need to be putting a lot more SPF than you think. So my rule of thumb is I just do like two fingers like that. 
That is just a skincare tip that I learned from a dermatologist. Don't forget your neck with sunscreen. All right, you guys, that is all that I do during the daytime, and I'm going to check back in with you at nighttime to show you guys what I do at nighttime for my skincare routine. Also, if I were to be doing makeup, this is that would be my makeup base. This is all I do. So I'll see you guys at nighttime. Okay, it is the same day, but nighttime, and I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime skincare routine that I do every single day. So yeah, let's get into it. I just washed my face, same soap bar that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video, but just to save time, I didn't put it in. So clean face, and I start with toner. The toner that I use is Fusidine's Derma Trouble Toner. I'm just gonna put the name right here because you can't really see the, the bottle. So I'll just take a cotton pad and I will just pat that into my skin. So this toner specifically, I like it. This is it from a Korean skincare brand. I like this toner because it's a comedonal toner. Basically what that means is the formula is made so that it specifically targets blackheads and I have noticed all my blackheads clear up after using this toner. And I only really use this toner in my trouble areas, my chin and my nose for the blackheads and the rest of my T-zone. Also fun fact about this toner is that I found this toner through a brand deal basically. So they had reached out and we're like, hey, we want to work with you for a TikTok video. And with me, I'm very adamant about trying the products, especially if it's skincare, trying the products in advance so that I know that I'm promoting a product that I would actually use. And I incorporated this into my everyday skincare routine because I liked it so much and I noticed a big difference in my blackheads. I would never promote a product that I wouldn't personally use because I remember when I used to watch YouTubers or TikTokers and I would really trust these creators and now that I am a creator myself And I know that girls are watching me and trusting my recommendations I'm not gonna promote a product that I personally would have used to me. That just seems really unethical um, But yeah, so once I let the toner sit in for a little bit once it's a little dry I take my Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate big Kiehl's fan so I just take the dropper also, when it comes to products with like applicators that have droppers like this, you want to put it on your hand first and you don't want to put it directly on your skin just in case if like it touches your skin, that is how bacteria can form, which is no bueno. Okay, I'll just read what the bottle says. A replenishing elixir, pure essential oils, and distilled botanicals for radiant, younger looking skin by morning. And nothing could be more true. Nothing could be more true. I swear by it. It is a little pricey, but... I think it's so worth it. Okay, so a little thing about this product. I was so scared to try it because I have oily to normal skin and that being a mix of essential oils, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna break me out. But someone had recommended this product to me and I don't see anyone talking about it on social media. I don't understand why this product isn't pushed because it's so good, but I was skeptical to try it and oh my gosh, it changed my skin. It has not once made me break out in the five years I've been using it. Also, it doesn't make your face feel oily like it doesn't feel oily it doesn't feel heavy it feels very light and smooth don't forget your neck the last and final step in my everyday nighttime skincare routine is which is none other than the kiehl's ultra facial cream i don't think i'm ever going to use another moisturizer i honestly i mean never say never but it's going to take a lot i don't know if this is true but my mom told me this tip and my mom knows everything about skincare. When you're putting products on your neck, don't go down. You want to push up to prevent wrinkles. Word on the block, I don't know. I just love how my skin looks like a glazed donut every night when I go into bed. I like look forward to this feeling. You know what I mean? Okay, one last thing. For my lips, I use the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I'm pretty sure we've all seen this before. I'm pretty sure we've all seen this before. Okay, now we're really looking like a glazed donut. Now that my everyday skincare routine is done, I wanna go into some of the products that I use two to three times a week for maintenance. Starting off with the sheet masks. These are my two favorite sheet masks, both Korean skincare brands, shocking. Um, this is the Vital Hydra Solution by Dr. Jart. And since I am a surfer, I'm in the sun all the time. And this like gives my skin life after a long day in the sun. This one, I've made so many TikTok videos about this. It is the Centellian 24 Medeca Derma Mask 3. Can you see it? 
Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys my exfoliators. I switch between the two, the Fresh Strawberry Exfoliator, or I will use this one by this Crane skincare brand called Skin Food. I love Skin Food, and it is the Black Sugar Scrub. This is the product that Skin Food is known for. This was like one of their best-selling products for years. I'm almost out. It smells so good though. As for the devices that I use for my skin, I only use two. And I'm going to show you guys how I use them, how often I use them. So the first one is this high frequency wand. And I used to get a lot of facials. And my facial lady would use this exact machine. Okay, this is what it looks like. I don't know if I'm going to explain this correctly, but it has neon and argon electricity or frequency i'm going to turn off the lights and i'm going to show you guys but this is the box it is the new derma professional but it comes with many different um options this is basically the tool that when you're getting a facial you hear that zapping noise it doesn't hurt i promise you it doesn't hurt it sounds like it hurts but it doesn't and it goes layers under the skin and it just kills all the bacteria for me personally i've been using this because it helps me with my acne scarring i use this two to three times a week by the way and i use this after i wash my face on a clean face okay i'm gonna turn off the lights also some people like to use um hyaluronic acid just to help it glide more or sometimes they'll put a little cloth over but i just use it on, on a clean face it has a dial and i like to set mine to two okay there we go are you seeing that For every area, I just rub it for 20, 10 to 20 seconds. So if you have like an area where you know, okay, I'm gonna, I'm expecting a break up there around that time of the month, then you just rub it on there. I like to get my T-zone. This device is definitely an investment. I know they, I saw they've been selling this device on TikTok shop, so maybe try to look it up. This exact one that I'm using. Um, but this was a great investment for your skin oh tip i just put it on two because on the setting of two because any higher you'll feel is up i'm just gonna be honest you'll feel is up but two is like the sweet spot for me sometimes like when i'm feeling like it i'll just like quickly go over my entire face just in case if there's like any bacteria or like any potential breakouts that could be popping up under my skin in random areas of my face this will just kill it and clear it up. The second and last device that I use on my face is this red light wand. It is an LED infrared light wand and it has three modes. So the red light produces collagen. It um, helps calm inflammation and it's just really good for preventing wrinkles and stuff like that. It has the green light, which is for acne scarring, which I use all the time on my chin and the third one is the blue light which is antibacterial and basically all these three lights they have different wavelengths and they reach different um, layers of the skin so the one that i do every single day is the red light and i do it after i wash my face i do this every single day by the way i try to i probably average around like five to six times a week but i will just slowly really slowly move it around my face the biggest difference that I've noticed in using this consistently is texture. So I used to have like textured skin, but you know that like Korean glass skin, like that kind of smooth face, the red light helps with that. So that is the biggest difference that I've seen. And with the green light, obviously the scarring um, on my chin has helped. So I will just, I usually I sit and do this in bed while I'm like on my phone or listening to a podcast. The one that I use is the Predi, Prediri, Prediri? Okay, I'm going to see if I can focus in on this. Okay, are you guys seeing? There we go. That brand, Prederi Paris. That's the brand of this. This was also an investment, but a great investment. I don't, I don't get facials anymore, so I just do everything at home. Also, red light is really good for anxiety. I know that people use red light therapy to calm their anxiety, and it also helps you with your sleep cycle. So I do this at nighttime. But yeah, that is basically it for my skincare routine. I showed you guys every single product that I use on my skin. And I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed my video. I did a poll on my TikTok story and you guys want to see my skincare routine. But you guys also want to see my everyday makeup routine. So that will be coming very, very soon. So stay tuned. Wait, 
even though this isn't a vlog, I still have to end up my video like this, how I've ended off my other videos, okay? Here we go. Here is a flower for me to you to help get you through. I love you, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.